Hi parents, it's Pastor Tommy here. I just wanted to let you know a little bit about this month's theme and what we're going to be learning about with your kids. Uh, we're going to try and make it a little bit easier for you now. Uh, we're going to send out video lessons so that way uh, we're taking the responsibility of teaching the kids uh, off of you so that you can have fun uh, doing the activities with them and kind of going through the application side of things uh, and then give a different voice to the teaching itself. I know that it's hard a lot of times to both be a teacher and a parent and the fun one and the one who's having them sit down. Uh, so we're going to try and share that responsibility with you uh, and give that a shot and see how it goes. We'd love to get your feedback, so just let us know. Um, but this month, we're going to be talking about a, a theme called Unstuck. Uh, the idea is that all throughout the Bible, you see opportunities of people who God puts in situations where it seems impossible. Uh, situations that uh, either are, are easy to start but hard to finish uh, or just there's no end in sight to things. Uh, and, and a lot of us feel that way right now, actually, with all of this going on. So it should be very relatable for you. Um, the idea is that we're going to focus on the word determination. Uh, and determination we are defining as deciding it's worth it to finish what you've started. Uh, so as we go out, th as we go throughout this month, we encourage you to keep using that word determination and keep using that definition that it's worth it to finish this, that there is value at the end of this. So as you're sitting here and watching this video uh, and trying to deal with your kids and, and every day trying to teach them a new lesson, uh, this may be something you need to learn as well, that uh, things may seem impossible right now, but if we are determined, uh, then we know it's worth it at the end. Uh, in week one, that's this week, uh, we're going to have the bottom line saying, keep going even when it seems impossible. Keep going even when it seems impossible. And we're going to use uh, the Great Commission, God's final commands to his people uh, to walk through that idea. Week two, uh, the bottom line is going to be God gives you what you need to keep going. So it's not just that uh, we need to do it even though it seems impossible. It's just God's going to provide us what we need. Uh, and we're going to look at how the Holy Spirit came at Pentecost uh, is the story we're going to use there. Uh, the third week, we're going to talk about how we need to keep going even when things get tough. Uh, we know a lot of times the obstacles come, and then it's hard to say, can I even keep going at this point? Uh, we're going to use Peter and John uh, being taken to the Sanhedrin for this story uh, in week three. Week four, our bottom line is keep going because God knows the end of the story. We don't. Uh, a lot of times we don't know what's going to happen, so it's hard to keep going when there's no end goal in sight, or we don't know if it's going to be worth it in the end. But we know that God has said it's worth it. God has said that he knows what's going on. Uh, and if he's brought us to it, then he wants us to keep going with it. Um, and we'll use Stephen to talk about this point with our kids. In the last week, week five, our bottom line is going to be keep going even when you have questions. We have all reached that point of having questions and all reached that point of not understanding fully. Uh, and it's important that we keep going through that. Uh, it's okay to ask questions. We want to ask questions. We want to have a better understanding. But when we have those questions, it doesn't mean stop until you figure out the answer. Uh, it means that we need to stay faithful in what we're doing, uh, regardless of if we have the answer or not. Uh, we're going to use Philip and the man from Ethiopia that week uh, to talk about that uh, as he explained all those questions to that leader. So uh, I hope you will enjoy this. Uh, like I said, we would love your feedback. Tell us what we can do to help you during this time especially. Uh, and we look forward to the day we can be back together. But until then, uh, I'm here with you. Our church family is here with you. We're praying for you. Uh, and we hope that this week, this month, uh, you will enjoy the lessons about getting unstuck. See you soon.